So, do we want to check out what it feels like to play a game like this? Welcome back to the Brock Galactic Survivor and I have something absolutely incredible for you if you want to break your game, okay? I was looking around on YouTube, you know, and I came across a video that explained a certain glitch in the game that you can pretty much get infinite level ups, okay? Um, le le you we can roll once. Ooh, that was actually risky. So you need to have a weapon upgrade in here, okay? And what you do then is you press right click and enter at the same time. I guess on console this would be whatever is your confirmation button and your menu button. This is menu by the way. So in my case I press right click and enter at the very same time. You can even spam enter, but there we go. If you do this a couple of times you can pretty much do this every single time. And you may have noticed something odd is going on, isn't it? Like. Oh, oh, that's good. They, they just stay there, right? Like the upgrades just stay there. It, it doesn't go away. And this level goes up. And if we take a look at the stats here, the reload time is going down. Is, isn't this a little bit weird? Okay, so I will link the video that I found in the description in case you want to check it out. But there was one big issue because it couldn't really explain to you how to get out of this menu again, aside from spamming escape. And that has not once worked for me. But, you know me, you know, I, I wanted to solve this because I wanted to use this. All you have to do, it's that simple, is hover over this button here. Okay, this is the menu button. All you have to do is right click and enter. The exact same thing at the same time. Okay, so now you notice there's this menu. That's a little bit weird. So we right click again, we come back, right click and enter. The game continues. Isn't, isn't that interesting? Now what you don't want to do is ever press yes. Okay. Um, I actually want that. Give me, give me, give me, give me, give me a few of those. We actually don't want to take too many. We shoot 41 times a second. Okay, Dex, what did you do? Come on. Okay, same story again. So we right click and enter. This menu comes up. The second time, okay, we can move around freely and see everything, but it's not that great. You can also press no, and then it becomes blurry. Okay, it's this blurry mess. That looks amazing. But it's this blurry mess. But the thing is, you don't risk accidentally pressing yes, you know? So I think this is the best option that you have to play the game. What's happening in the background with the turrets? I just noticed the amount that we have there. Oh, reload time decks, yeah. I'm just farting out turrets left and right. Right, look at this. <laughs> so once we take the, 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 the rocket, the drill that goes deeper, this goes back to normal. We can play the game as normal. So we just want to explore this a little bit, you know, a fun video, don't take this all too seriously. I'm not gonna use this now in the game, I just wanted to show it off. Because it's a lot of fun, even more fire rate. Do we need that? <laughs> Is there any reason we should ever use that? Um, they don't even have a fire rate, the drones, I'll just take the crit. Yeah, I, I, I need that to win, you know, because otherwise I can't win. And by the way, if you just randomly stumbled upon this video, then please consider checking out some of the other videos about this game, as well as other Bullet Haven games or Horde Survivals, however you want to call them, because, well, that's pretty much all I do. And maybe you might even consider subscribing and giving the video a like. Have fun with the rest of the video. Oh, and one thing I should mention is, when, oh, that's so perfect, because I want to have additional drones. Yes, this is where we are going with this. I want to have an army of drones, and not just like a few, I want to have a lot of drones. But yeah, um, once you get out of the menu, out of the lockout of the menu, you won't see your HP. And I highly recommend that you wait for level up, because then you get your HP back. Okay, you see it again after level up, because otherwise it's very easy to die. I've tested this a bunch, and... If you don't get like damage upgrades, enemies will still steamroll you. They are way more powerful than they are supposed to be. I don't even understand the reason why, but some of these never die to my things. Uh, armor sounds actually good. And you can't press escape. I can't do anything here pretty much. I'm a slave to this entire thing. I could lock in a new upgrade. Can I actually right click and enter? No, I can't do anything. Like, it's, it's straight up impossible. I can only use my mines here to, to mine for me. Somewhere is a boss. I think down there I have a feeling. Okay, <laughs> there, there was a boss. Wow, that is, do I just stack that up on the Viper drone? I actually don't want to do that. No, I think that's bad. I don't want to go all in on damage because then one bullet kills them. What's the point of having so many, right? So I want to have bonus drones. Oh, and by the way, the game won't tell you a countdown, so I, I would highly recommend to just go in. I already tried it in the drill, in the shop, if you can do it there. It didn't work out, sadly. That would have been an amazing upgrade. The funny thing is, I don't really want anything here. 
I, but I also don't really need the gold. Uh, sure, let's just take it, let's continue. And now you'll see, there are all the messages that I missed. And, um... Okay, I'm farting out... <laughs> I'm farting out turrets. <laughs> so... Do we want to check out what it feels like to play a game like this? I'm noticing it's really laggy. Oh, that's not good, because I wanted to have a lot of drones. I'm right now down to 34 FPS. You know... Not having to mine for once is actually quite a nice feeling. Do they give more resources the more luck you have? I've never gotten this many resources. Interesting. So what I'll do this time is we have the drill over there. And I waited for the drill because otherwise you have to gamble to find it. There's the fire. Oh my god, the shredder swarm grenade. I may take that one, but I don't want to spoil it. I want to use it for a future video. <laughs> Oh, this is, just, this is just way too... Chance to find experience. This will increase our odds to get an additional drone level up. And this is why I also took all of the luck. I mean, we also don't really need damage or something like that, you know? But uh, yeah, we'll still help. Drones get more damage? Sounds good to me. Ah, this is just not what I need. What I need is additional drones. Maybe I should have done this way later, but how do you make a video like this when you want to show this off and make a run and then just wait ages, right? That would have been so boring. So, um, I think this is a way to do it. And we can... Ch <laughs> it's pretty much just an experience to see what happens. Because these are maxed out, but the drones, they are not maxed out. Now, the, the thing is, the annoying part about drones is they have only two stats that you can upgrade. Their lifetime, well, okay, that, like, but you can't buy that, okay, so it doesn't count. So it's just their reload time and their damage. Ouch, that hurt. Luck. Okay, we have so much luck. There is no way I'll not get the upgrade. But do you see that? Um, first of all, I think I maybe should turn off the damage numbers. That might be better. Didn't help at all. Didn't help at all. Not in the slightest. Why do I even increase lifetime? Look at this thing going crazy and now they stick around even longer. <laughs> what happens if I stand still? Do we just drop them all the time, or is there like a limit to it? Um, nope, it looks like it just keeps dropping them. Huh. Oh, that, that, that wasn't a lead? Okay. Yeah, I need damage though. I can't believe that I'm saying, you know what, even more lifetime. Let's just make them last even long. Why do I do that? Why do I do that? I can do this with other ways, better ways. Okay. How... Oh, they only have 32 damage, I just realized. Oh, that's nothing. Okay, so do we want to take this? I would really like to have something else. <laughs> the, the repulsor. Um, no, because if we had have the third drone, we have a way higher chance to get a plus one drone upgrade. And honestly speaking, I don't care which drone it is. I just want one of them to have it in this run. Very nice gold. <laughs> this is like the best thing ever. I just have nothing to do. I, I just watch them. They sadly can't squash these bugs, but aside from that, they mine everything for me. It also gives experience because we have that upgrade from the drill, and I'm just hoarding a huge amount of gold right now, because what I want is I want to reroll down everything, maybe on the fourth stage. Does it make the most sense to do there? Like, like, I want to do it at a time where I have possibly the most amount of luck. Wait, but if I want to have gold, then I should definitely finish the quest. What is going on here? I think I have to upgrade the damage a little bit. Because, um... Yeah, that could be a problem. Why do I not get damage upgrades for this dude? Oh my god, yes. That is, you know, not what I'm looking for, but... Hey, do, guys, do you think there's, there's still rocks here that I have to mine? <laughs> Oh, it's fluent. When I had FPS for a moment, that's nice, and now it immediately goes down. Drains gold, that's horrible. Um, max HP sounds good. Um, how is this even possible? What are the damage numbers looking like that they survive for so long? Really? It just feels like this shouldn't be this way. Do you think the game has a hidden scaling on the enemies depending on what your weapon level is? That we don't know about? Or is this really normal? Because I feel like they shouldn't survive this long. Right? Or is it just me? 
this would be so evil if the game actually adjusts the HP of the enemies based on your damage output. That would be me- no, we'll not do that. That is a good one. We sadly can't stack these. You can't use normal ones. Okay, okay, okay. I just have to find one more flower, please. I just want to have one more flower. Okay, we finished the quest. That means we have 30 bonus gold. I think I'll just walk around and mine the rest of the stage by literally just walking around and not doing anything else. So, where are they going? Where are they going? Yeah, I noticed when the game starts lagging like this, then... Oh, that's perfect. I will get just a few of those. Okay, what is the damage right now? 75. Is the damage really that low? I don't remember that. 171. Okay, let's let's just go to 300 maybe. Like, just something like that. 400... Nice, damage not found. <laughs> okay, careful, careful. It's right at the end of... I just got a magnet, that's bad. Um, wait, actually, that's good. So, fire rate or reload speed, I think... You know what? <laughs> a little bit, you know, just a little bit. We don't need that much, just a little bit. Can I maybe get, you know, one additional drone? Okay, pick up radius. Imagine this would actually happen. I have a bad feeling about this. That's like my entire... My, I'll take it, I guess. One extra drone, that's nice, but this is my entire goal, that I just want to have an army of drones. So please, game. This is your next stage. Can you just give me the option, please? You know what's a real evil thing about this? Depending on the thumbnail, you already know if I'll get it or not, but I just have no idea. So, we are on stage 4, and I would say here, I will do the quest, and then I'll just start rolling, and I, I just hope that it happens, you know? And if it doesn't happen, tough luck. <laughs> like, okay, is this as satisfying for you as it is for me? This is just so much fun. So I'm about to finish the quest. Once that is finished, I have the max amount of gold. Ja, komm, hör doch auf mit dem Käse, ey, das braucht doch keiner. I have the max amount of gold, and that means I will roll. Well, there it is. I will still check if there's some gold down there, but um, I, I hope, I beg. Oh, God. Uh, let's keep going. Uh, circle around the player. Sure, let's just do that, I guess. <laughs> Look at the minimap. <laughs> <laughs> so I think I got all of the gold. Um, yeah, I got a bad feeling. About I don't even know if I'm supposed to roll or if I should wait for experience to get more chances at luck. But yeah, I don't know. Hmm. I mean, if not now, then when? Right? Right, guys? <laughs> don't mess this up now because if I mess this up, we just get this upgrade and that was it. So right click and enter. Three. Two, one. <gasps> okay, listen. My game is already lagging like stupid. So I'll take this to 50. Now we're done. Okay. Because otherwise this, this game will just like completely get destroyed. Oh my god, look at this ring of fire. We can't see it now, but we'll be able to see it on the next stage. Oh my god, the eyes drone. Yes. Oh, I don't know if I'm prepared for this. The next stage is a dreadnought. I don't know if I can deal with this, okay? I hope for the best. I don't know if I can do that, but you may notice there's more than one drone that has a lot of level ups. <laughs> Whoa, hey, careful there. Okay, army, assemble. <laughs> What is it doing? Is it attacking the balls already? Dude, calm down with the balls, okay? Calm down. C follow me, follow me. We first gotta visit some friends here, okay? And then we'll take care of the ball. Um, all drones get more damage. I could also just go for rolls, you know? Maybe we get lucky and get the, the last one here as well. Mm, doesn't look like it. But I, yeah, as you can see, I had like, what, 256 gold or something like that. I pretty much used all of it except for 21 gold. That was all that was left. Um, where are the balls? We need two more balls. Hey balls, ballsy ballsy. Oh, by the way, if you want to see the stats, so this is the turret. These are, they don't do a lot. Um, 700 damage, you know, decent amount, 436 uh, damage. I think the ice ones, none of my drones are ranged, right? If we would have the electrical one, that would have been insane, but I also know that one breaks your game. Because there's an upgrade that, like, puts a bond between you and the electrical one. 
And if you have like 500 of those and the, the bond is going on, the tether, uh, have fun with- Oh hey, the boss is there! Oh hey, how are you doing? Oh yeah, the boss was there. This uh, Hazard 5 by the way. Ha Hazard 5 by the way. <laughs> uh, do you want to see the damage that everyone did? I'm curious, wh who do you think is the strongest out of these? Can we maybe take one final picture together? I just want to have this as a memory. Look at this, how they all assembled. This one is out of line, there we go. <laughs> Okay, let's leave. So, I think the turrets did the most damage, right? Because they were shooting the entire time. Yeah, it's not even close. <laughs> that's nice. <laughs> nice DP. S, my friend. Yeah, the electrical damage, that's the turrets. How is this number higher, by the way, than the damage of the turrets? Because no one else deals electrical damage. This doesn't make any sense. Well, that was it for today. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you have fun testing with this. And if you did, then don't forget to subscribe and give the video a like. See you the next time.